Okay, we're back and it's another day. So, uh, I was watching a lot of, uh, let's get a little light on this. See if I can do the recording and still have light. Yeah, that's not bad. You can see everything. Okay. Maybe we ought to zoom in a little bit. How's that? Okay. I wasn't going to use a th urethane on this, and uh, I was watching a few YouTube videos, and I kind of got irritated uh, how many different ways one guy was just splash, 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 you know, and oh, keep it straight, keep it, move it here, and I wasn't very happy with it. Now, I'm no expert about this stuff. Uh, what I'm doing right now is getting some of the bristles off this brush. I, I prefer a smaller brush. Whoa! Almost lost the camera. There we go. So I'm going to look for... See what I got in my little den here of paint brushes. Ooh! I got a fancy one. Very fancy brush. Okay, now remember you're probably going to throw away most of your brushes that you use. Um, make sure we're still recording. Okay, what I got here, this is a finish factor. It's a standard. And uh, you know, I've had different luck with different brushes, but from what I've seen so far, a lot of these guys are just uh, crazy the way they're doing different stuff. I'm trying to get the camera just so. So what we're going to do is, um, I wasn't even going to do this, but now, now I'm going to. Okay, we used our stain yesterday. And what I have sitting over here is some uh, mineral spirits, some lacquer thinner. Are you able to see any of this on the camera? Yeah, some lacquer thinner. Uh, this one's an odorless, uh, it's a green. It's supposed to be safe for the uh, environment. And then I have a paint thinner. And if you'll read on every single can, you can use this to dilute varnish and urethanes and that's what we're going to do if we need to. Now I did a bed recently and the weather was too hot and I'll tell you what it was a complete disaster so I had to fix it the only way I knew how and that was to thin the material I already had on the bed so I basically grabbed a paintbrush dipped it in some uh, lacquer thinner and started painting the bed just with the lacquer thinner and that saved the day. So, <clears throat> what we have here is our, our table we've been working on. First things first, we're going to remove the, uh, the legs. And we're probably going to do the legs first. So I'll set my little uh, tabletop over here. And what I've done here is I grabbed a piece of wood and I drilled some holes in it so my legs would fit in it. I thought I had the right size. And I did. One. I know I made it a little tight. But once it starts threading, we'll be okay. Okay. One, two, three. This looks like a good one to put it in. Four. 
and I'm not going all the way down you can see I have a gap in between the wood because we're gonna have some drippage so can you let's see if I can make this a little bit better for you guys maybe if I stick a small block of wood in here we won't go back down as much I'm gonna have to pick up a tripod okay I lost camera there for a minute so what we're gonna do is uh, Try and do do this a little bit different today. Grab a pair of pliers and see if I can. Lock this in a little bit better. I was watching uh, American Pickers while I was at work on my phone and that's what I use for most of this is my phone for my recordings okay that's gonna have to work so what I've done is we've removed the legs I put them in this uh, 4x4 block and you can see they're not quite touching but so many people had so many different ways of painting these. So this is how I'm going to start off with the leg. Now I've already mixed. This is going to be a semi-gloss. I have a nice brush. So let's open it up. And uh, I want to have some gloves. I buy these by the hundreds. If you blow in the glove, it'll open it up for your fingers. So as I was saying, I have sitting here in front of me paint thinner, lacquer thinner, or mineral spirits. And every single one of those said it would, it would uh, be okay for thinning this. Now we're not going to thin any of this unless I need to so basically you want to get your brush and most of the videos I saw they didn't uh, clean off the brush I have to keep checking to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing would it be better if I put this over here sure it would so we're just going to start off with the farthest one and most of the videos I've seen, you want to start on one end, and yeah, we're even doing the bottoms. You want to start off on one end, and that's where you want to work to. You don't want to go from the wet to the dry, you want to go from the dry to the wet. And uh, you don't have to cake it on. I've seen a lot of people out there, and they just plaster it on, and then you have a lot of sanding to do at the end well let's avoid some of that sanding because when you're sanding what will happen is uh, you're going to be removing some of your stain and now you have a color change Just a tiny bit more. I'm just blowing it off if there's any dust at the very base of this. Now what I'm doing is I'm making sure I don't have any drips, no stains, because you don't want puddles. Now how's that look? Not bad. Okay, let's whip this out. We'll do the top. Get the start going. 
doesn't take a lot. You don't have to ooze this stuff on here. Just a nice thin coat. I'm going to turn it. We may need to get a, a softer brush next time, but actually the firmness of this one's about a medium, and it, it's doing the job really well. It's keeping any uh, runs away. And I like that. So we're, we're almost done with the legs. And I wasn't even going to do this, but I watched a few videos last night. And boy, they were just basically throwing it on there. No, uh, no, no skill at all. They didn't care how sloppy it was. They didn't clean the paintbrush at all. They just wanted to get it on there. And uh, you could do that, but you're going to end up with a lot of sanding because you're going to have runs because this is not a flat surface there's no way for me to lay this down I have me looking on this side okay this is slow you can see we're about at the last one. I'm just going to tap a little on the top. And if you want to do multiple coats, that's fine with me. Do as many coats as you want, I guess. I'm not looking for a really deep, deep uh, urethane look on this. I'm just looking for a light shine because I might actually sand this really lightly and then go ahead and use my uh, Minwax on it. Now what happened to me last time was I was doing a bed and it was about 110 10 degrees out and this stuff was drying as fast as I was putting it on and to save my job I dipped my brush right in uh, a bucket of the uh, paint thinner I think I'm going to use the uh, mineral spirits that day and I thinned out what any job I did okay let's see if you can see how light that is. I didn't, it's not drizzling. Actually, I have a little run right here. And we're good to go. We're going to set this off to the side now. Set this up here. I got to call my dog. Come on, Ralphie. got a long hair chihuahua okay so how am I gonna do this one well you can't lay it anywhere so what we're gonna do we're gonna do the edges first and make sure they're all smooth but here's how we're gonna do this one we're gonna take and put these screws in here that's where the leg would go so we're going to do the bottom side first flip it over and it'll be resting on these screws 
So, let's get started. And maybe I can zoom in just a little bit. Right about there, okay. I'm not pounding this stuff on. My edge. Now I want to go into the wetness. I don't even want anything to build up. We're going to do this all the way around. Catching a little of the top. Just because this has a weird shape to it. my dog again. Okay. I'm just going to make sure this is all even. Set it down. We're going to go with the grain. I'm going to start one area going to be working from. Make sure. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. Ralphie, come on. Sorry about that, guys. I should have left my dog in the house. Here he comes. Come here, Ralphie. Come here. This is Ralphie, everyone. Say hi, Ralphie. Okay, so what we're doing is, remember, we're working this way. And I'm just trying to get a nice, thin layer on this wood. I always thought you wanted it nice and thick, and let me tell you what, that just causes some problems. Now we can go this way. and slow. Trying to get some of the thickness of the varnish down. I want just a light layer. Okay, now if we don't mess with this, when this dries, it'll be perfectly smooth. Now we're going to get rid of our uh, supports. Now we're going to do the top. Make sure you guys can see what I'm working on. So we'll start from this end. I'm just going to get this whole end, get an edge going. 
so that's what we're going to be painting into. We'll come back here. When I first did this, I really thought you had to get it thick and heavy, and it just caused me so many problems. Ralphie, you stay over here. Now, if there's ever anything you guys want to know, I may know how to do it. I've been self-taught on most of the stuff I do. And let's face it, if you screw this up, just fix it. It's wood. We can re-sand it. We can smooth it out. It's not the end of the world. The important thing is that you're trying. Okay, we're just gonna go nice and slow. Now, something I didn't mention was uh, I did clean this with a tack cloth first. I shut my fan off. And guys, well, I don't want to shut this off, so let me try and get it out of here. And there we go. See there? It looks thick, but it's not. It's the lighting. I left all the fans off. I don't want anything blowing on this. So, our legs got those sitting up there tables here now what we're gonna do is a little bit of cleanup Let's see if I can fit this back in here what I want to do is get this slid over here Now remember, I punch holes on either side of this. All we need is a hammer. And I'm going to take this over here because I don't want dust. Okay, my lid's back on. Uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of this paint center. a big reason you want to use paint center. Because that's what I have the most of right now. So all you do is I have this uh, I'm just going to sit here and watch this out a little bit. And then this paintbrush will be good to go. Trying to get everything out of it. Now, if it was hot and I screwed up on my table, what we could do is actually just start painting it with this. And what that would do, that would thin the paint, the uh, the varnish that's already on the table. That would thin it out and spread it around. And you can see in the base of this, all the varnish is just resting in there.
that's it for today guys what I'm gonna do now is shake my brush out put that in a nice safe place I don't have any dust in here so uh, You guys let me know if you want me to sand this down with a light sanding and then uh, we'll use a little bit of the wax on it and right now I got my uh, can of wax in the house because I'm working on a hutch in there it's an antique hutch I just got and that's all I'm doing to that is I'm going to do a light sand on it This will, on a lot of these, uh, the rougher areas that you see, let me get it so you can see, see how it looks a little rough in area, some areas, that'll actually, that'll actually sink in, and it'll come out smooth. Well, if you have any questions, uh, what's one guy say? He says, right up there, the subscription button. If you want to subscribe, it's right up there. I would appreciate if you guys uh, like my videos. Uh, click on any of the advertisement. You don't have to buy. I'm going to be getting those set up for Harbor Freight, uh, Sears, Craftsman, um, all the tool websites, where to buy wood, chisels, sandpaper. Uh, that's what I would like to have done eventually. And it's just stupidity that's stopping me from doing it now. But if you click on an ad, uh, it helps me do more videos. I make a couple cents anytime somebody clicks on it. And uh, it adds up, you know. Times are a little tough, and uh, I like to be able to go out and, and buy this kind of stuff. These little cheap pieces of furniture. That's the chair. I'm getting ready to put the casters on. If I have time, I'll probably do that right now. And I'm going to go ahead and sandblast those casters first, though and then I'm going to paint them black to go on the base uh, of the chair. If you have any questions, you can email me. Uh, if you want me to show you how to do anything, let me know. If I don't know how to do it, I'll find the guy that can do it, and I'll get you the right answer. That's how I've learned. Thank you for watching. This is Bob Shop signing off.